So I've been watching the Spider-Man 2 gameplay reveal and it's got me thinking, Insomniac has the opportunity to do something that's never been done before in gaming. Not right anyways. And if they do it right, this could be an experience similar to watching the first Avengers movie for the first time in 2012. Let me explain though. So Insomniac is the gaming company behind Spider-Man PS4, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Spider-Man 2 coming out shortly. But they've been working on something that's kind of not been talked about lately, and it's because Spider-Man 2 has been overshadowing it. See right now, Insomniac has a whole team working on a Wolverine game. Bro. <sighs> And it's a story game just like Spider-Man, so it's gonna have similar gameplay elements and things like that. And if you've played Spider-Man PS4 or Miles Morales, you know that gameplay is just... Oh, sh chef's kiss. Chef's kiss! So yeah, that on its own is already insane, because they've done crazy justice to Spider-Man. That gameplay is crispy. There's some hints I'm picking up that they might just take it a step further. See, I was doing some Google searches, and I found out Insomniac already confirmed Wolverine is going to take place in the same universe as the Insomniac Spider-Man games. Bro! Bro! Bro, I'm getting hot, bro. I'm getting hot just talking about this. Guys, I think Insomniac is cooking some shit up right now, bro. So we already know Insomniac is really good at introducing and balancing the stories of more than one hero because they introduced Miles perfectly in Spider-Man. So Spider-Man 2 is coming out in a few months. What if in Spider-Man 2, we get a nod to Wolverine? Or what if we even see Wolverine? And if both these games are really set in the same universe, I can guarantee you we're gonna at least hear about Spider-Man in the Wolverine game. I can guarantee you. Especially if the events of the Spider-Man game already happened when the Wolverine game is taking place, I promise you we're going to hear about Spider-Man. So what this means is they could potentially be slowly introducing more Marvel characters and giving them solo games. And if they keep doing that and all these heroes are in the same gaming universe, y'all know where I'm going with this shit, bro. Y'all know where I'm going with this shit, bro. What if this is all leading up to a crossover solo game with multiple Marvel characters in it? Like the Avengers game done right though. The Avengers game that we never actually got. Not some co-op bullshit, a real story-driven game, but you can just play multiple characters. Yeah, you might think that sounds far-fetched now, but think about it. Spider-Man 2 already confirmed you can change between Miles and Peter at any given moment on the fly. So we have multiple characters you can freely switch between. Think about it, guys. Imagine a few more years of these solo games. Wolverine comes out and it's fucking amazing. And we see Spider-Man in that. Maybe we get a Blade game. Maybe we get a Black Panther game. Maybe we finally get a fucking Daredevil solo game. And throughout these solo games, we start to see the other characters. We start to see cameos of Spider-Man, Wolverine, crossing into each other's games. And eventually, this all leads to a huge story mode game where they all need to come together and you're able to switch between who you prefer. And of course, there's gonna be specific missions to specific heroes. There should be multiple missions where I can at least choose, okay, I wanna be Spider-Man or I wanna be Wolverine for this mission. They should all have different strengths and different weaknesses for different missions. Maybe Spider-Man is more stealthy and maybe Wolverine, uh, his advantages are more aggressive. If they do this, and if this is what they're planning, this could be leading up to the fucking biggest storyline in gaming history. Not only the biggest one, but the best, we haven't seen story cra If they do this, this is going to be on par with the Infinity Saga in the MCU, bro. We might be fucking witnessing the first few things, bro. Like Spider-Man, that Spider-Man PS4 game might be the Iron Man equivalent, bro. Like how the Iron Man movie came out first. I'm telling you, bro. There comes a final game, a crazy fucking threat. I don't know, uh, fucking Galactus or some shit. I don't know. But they're all having like, like at the beginning, they're all doing their separate shit. They've all crossed paths before because they all have had their solo games at this point. So at the beginning of the final game or the, you know, the game where they all join together, they're all doing their separate shit. So you get to play with each one of them solo and then they start coming together. You know what I mean? Bro, I'm getting chills just thinking about this, bro. At the very least, I hope that they start crossing over in future games. Even if this isn't all leading up to one big game, I want to have a game where I can choose to play between Spider-Man or Wolverine or Spider-Man and Daredevil. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, pl being able to switch between Miles and Peter is the best. I think it's some of the best shit we've gotten in gaming that's coming up. But this is how they take it a step further. Give me a solo Daredevil game after this fucking Wolverine game and give me a game where I could switch between all fucking three of them, all four of them. 
And bro, what? Anyway, this is just something I've been thinking about, guys. Because I started doing some research into seeing if these characters are going to be in the same universe. So far, Peter Parker, Miles, and Wolverine are going to all be in the same universe. So, hey. Hey, when that Wolverine game comes out, don't say I didn't say, guys. Don't say I didn't warn you. I think we're going to hear about Spider-Man in that game. But what do you guys think? Leave your comment below. Let me hear some of your thoughts. Is this something that intrigues you guys? Is this something you actually want to see happen? Or do you just prefer that they keep all the solo games solo and maybe just, you know, have little nods to each other but not really any crossing over elements? But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Have a good one. Love you all. Peace. It's a thrill, she got chills It's the weekend, we in the hills I'm on defense